Welcome one and all to Soul Forge Fusion. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I'm traveling across the fantasy world of Solus. With four different factions, I'll choose two of them to combine and create my own deck, taking the newly forged army and its leader into battle. But my cards aren't static, as they'll become more powerful and even change their abilities every time I play them. Can I find the right synergies for victory? Let's find out in Soul Forge Fusion. All right, here we go with Soul Forge Fusion. This is a new collectible card game that I suppose you could call a sequel or successor to the original Soul Forge. Now, I did not ever play that version, so this will be all new to me. However, I do know the designer's previous games. Soul Forge was designed by both Richard Garfield, the creator of Magic the Gathering, and Justin Gary, the creator of the Ascension deck builder, both games that I've played a whole lot of. And from what I understand, you can also take a physical deck of Soulforge Fusion and import it into the digital realm via QR code. But the game does come with built-in decks and I presume ways to unlock new cards digitally. Now this game is set to release today, April 16th. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and play. Shambling Zombie versus me. Welcome to your first game. Welcome to Soulforge Fusion. Play creatures and spells to reduce your opponent's health to zero and claim victory. Let's walk through a brief tutorial to get you started. Each turn consists of four action phases, two for you and two for your opponent, and a battle phase. On your action phase, you may play one card from your hand. Play a creature now by dragging it into a lane. All right, uh, we got a combat raptor here. That sounds great. Deploy. Give the next creature you play this turn plus two plus two. Actually, I want to play that. Let's drop it right down the center. Each time you play a card, a higher level, more powerful version of that card goes into your discard pile. Right click on any card to see the current card and its other levels. Magnifying your card allows all the levels of your card, including any changes to the card in play. Right click any card to magnify. Okay, let's take a look at this combat raptor here. It just it just gets bigger. 8, 4, 13, 5 to an 18, 9. Hover over bolded keywords or icons to see information pop-ups. Now press done to pass control to your opponent or press undo to change a move. Oh, undo is a very nice addition here. Done. We got a 4-4 against R4-4. It is your turn to play another card. Opposed creatures battle each other. Unopposed creatures strike your opponent. All right, uh, so the next card we play, right, we'll have extra plus two, plus two. Shambling Zombie lost five and is now at 45. Why did that happen? All right. Uh, let's continue here. Let's grab this raptor. It'll be even bigger. Drop it down here. Excellent. And then we say done, and then they go. That is perfectly A-OK. -okay. After four action phases, battle begins. The player with the forge plays to the front of the lane in attack position. The player without the forge plays to the back of the lane in defense position. Okay, wait, hold on a sec. <laughs> Whoever has the forge, who has the forge? Is that this here? So attack in the front, defense in the back. If attacked, creatures in the back row fight back. Unopposed creatures attack the opposing player. Any damage inflicted remains between turns. Creatures reduced to zero health are banished. If you reduce a player to zero, you win. All right, so we're on the attack. We have the forge. Because we're up front here. And, oh, this is the forge here. So now they have the forge. Completed turn. You've completed your first turn. After each turn, you get a new hand of five cards to play. Okay, so we don't get to keep anything. This draw includes spell cards. Spell cards are distinguished by gems in the upper left corner. Spells level up just like creatures, but are banished after being played. Spells have a wide variety of effects. Some spells target an enemy. Some spells even summon other cards. Try playing a spell now. Alright, we have three spells. Ferocious Roar, 
plus two plus two. Ice Storm, deal four damage to an enemy creature and two damage to enemy creatures adjacent to it. And Primordial Slam, deal four damage to an enemy creature, give one of your warriors plus four attack. Well, I don't want to use the Roar because even if I give my Raptor two health, they're just going to die. I guess we do this one. Uh, wait, can I right click? Oh, that's nice. And drag it on you. Get rid of you. Do I... Oh, I got to click again? Okay. Got to click to confirm. And that's my first turn. Or my first action. And we have a 4-4 four, four against that. So our raptor is going to die. When you gain... Let's make this bigger. When you gain health, give this attack equal to the health gained. And when you deploy it, you gain 4. When this creature comes into play, trigger the following ability. Can I overheal from what I start out with? Oh, this also has zero. Let's try it. But it'll, it'll gain four. I gain four. Excellent. We can go above 50. And so this will be a four eight now. All right. And pass the turn. To the battle phase so we don't have the forge so even though we were unopposed here we're not on the attack that's very interesting players alternate control of the forge each turn when you have the forge the creature your creatures deployed to the front ready to attack back row creatures cannot initiate battle but can counter attack now try to play this turn on your own all right we are unopposed right there that won't stay for long what is this? Choose an enemy creature. There are no enemy creatures at the moment. I'm not even going to read that. Play up to two Wisp Minions, which are two twos. If this is unopposed, give it plus four. Give another one of your creatures plus four. Or deal five to a creature or player. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we're going to have two turns. They're going to have two turns. We could try and make one of our creatures unopposed by playing this. Yeah, let's play this. And I'm presuming they're going to want to oppose this, so it won't be eight. But we can hopefully kill something. Yeah, we can kill this one. And they'll probably oppose it again, is my guess. And we'll get in with our our lovely, what is this? Glowhive Siren. End of deck cycle. After three turns, you complete a deck cycle. There are four deck cycles in each game of Soulforge Fusion. Each cycle, your deck is shuffled, giving you access to your higher level cards, and you gain a Forgeborn power. Each Forgeborn has a unique set of abilities you may use once per deck cycle. Click on your Forgeborn to see your powers. You've learned all the basics of the game. Try to win the game on your own. Forge powers are ready. What do we got here? This is us. Oh, they just straight up destroyed my, my creature. Growth Aura. Give your creatures plus three. You gain plus... You gain three. Oh, that's excellent. That works with our Siren very nicely i wonder if this counts as an action let's go what does this do this does nothing it's just a six six right now we have the combat raptor we want to take this out the combat war stoker will do it so let's play this here Interesting, this played in the back row, but this is still up front, even though we don't have the forge. Okay, we're opposed here. Do I want to... Let me test this ability. I mean, I could... Oh, no, we're on defense. I also wonder if this here, does this persist between turns? That's another thing I want to test out. But let's do this. And can I use it?
That'll save our War Stoker. Oh, and we can still play a card. So using your sort of special ability or power does not count as an action here. That is great. And let's test this out. We're going to play this over here and see if next turn that'll still apply. All right, done. The battle phase. We win all of this. All right, controlling the board. That's what we're looking to do. On my turn, oh, we can do this siren again and hopefully get the extra from here. Let's try this. Gain five, it'll become a 510. Oh, wait. Oh, this gains it as well. Oh, it's very excellent. But I did not gain, I did not gain this extra deploy. Oh, I should have read it more carefully, shouldn't I have? Give the next creature you play this turn. That answers my question. Just read the card. Okay, there's no enemy creatures to deal damage to. So we can just fill this out. Give another one of your creatures plus four. Sure. Let's just drop this. Uh, oh, no, wait. What am I doing? I played the Siren. So Okay, so you got a 6-6 six, six there. So we are going to play this one to give you over here plus four. So we can take the zombie out. And that'll be it. And we're going to deal a whole bunch of damage. What, 17 damage? Excellent. Oh, wait, minus one. Oh, they're gone. Continue. Thank you for completing the tutorial for Soulforge Fusion. You can revisit the tutorial from the play menu or see the individual tutorial pop-ups from the settings menu. Remember that during play, you can adjust animation speed, volume, find a detailed rule book, and adjust other features in settings. And check the game log for detailed play-by-play -play information about your game. If you have not already done so, create your account to receive free decks, play against other players, and try out campaign mode. The future of Solus will be decided by you. Total damage dealt 98, played 8 creatures, destroyed 4 enemies, got up to the second level of cards. What is this button? Oh, it's got a tooltip. Very nice. Hide, show, end game stats. Oh, so we can take a look at the, the end board here. All right, here we go. Now, I did create an account previously before doing this, so I can log in right here. Uh, I will be right back. All right, here we go. We are back. I have logged in, and the publisher did provide me a key code for a faction deck. So let me see how that works. Enter the code. Congratulations. I received the Aloyan faction deck. Conquest's Disinfected Triangles, Iron Beard. See your new decks in your collection. Very nice. Let's go to my collection. Free decks have been added to your collection. Thank you for joining the battle for Solus. Additional faction decks have been added to your account. Fuse a new deck with these or battle with your current decks. All right, my first fused deck. What is this? Take a look at it. Forgeborn, Oloyan Starter, Tempest Starter. So these are, I believe, the decks that come with the game. So even though I I did I did redeem a key code, you do have, I think, four decks of the four different factions. So one of each. Pick your first faction. So what is the one we have already? Oloyan and Tempest. So let's go with the other two. Necrium. Circe. How do I do this? There we go. Put you there. And then Utera. And put you there. Oh, look at this. Pick your active Forgeborn. Circe, Soul Siphon. Destroy one of your creatures to give one of your other creatures plus five plus five. Deal six damage to a creature and gain six. Destroy an enemy creature. Choose a level one enemy creature. The opponent replaces it with a Wisp minion. 
play an Oak Father minion and give your creatures plus five plus five. Can we see what an Oak Father minion is? I guess we can look here, maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, the armored Decayosaur. All right, I like the idea of swapping out my enemies creatures with wisps that is a very early game thing though because it's only level one let's click nova to be the lead here uh and oh psh, enter deck name i'm just nova <laughs> very boring fuse deck deck created it's a very interesting system you're taking two different decks which are both half decks and then combining them Let's come back out here to the main menu real quick. Oh, wait, did not save? Fused decks. One. Okay, that unfortunately did not save, but we we're just testing things out. I wanted to also take a look at cosmetics here. We have no cosmetics. It looks like nothing's active yet because this is, of course, a an early review build. Let's go to play. Oh, no, hold on. Let's come here. Where is... Was it Tempest? No. Aloyan, there it is, the Iron Beard. Okay, let's fuse a deck with you then. And let's actually save it this time. Let's go Utera here. Since I liked your abilities, but what does Iron Beard do? Shields up, you and your creatures get four shields this turn. Set an enemy's creatures attack to zero. Give one of your creatures plus 12 this turn and it gets 12 shield. That's kind of nice. Let's go with Iron Beard. We're just going to name this another boring name, like Ironbeard. Okay, it says deck created. So if I go to collection, it'll hopefully be there. Oh, there it is. Oh, and there's the Nova. Okay, I don't know why it didn't show up earlier. Let's go test this out. Play. Online battle, friend battle, solo battle, campaign. I don't know if before release anybody's actually playing this. So we're just going to do the campaign. Go on a quest to defeat fearsome bosses. And we're going to change our deck to our Ironbeard deck. Reclusa. Oh, that's a big spider. Looks like we're going from 0 down to 10. Oh, Ascension level. We can make them harder. It looks like we can't do that at the moment. I'm guessing we have to complete this difficulty level first and then we can unlock the other difficulty levels welcome to your first campaign click on nodes to gain buffs and fight enemies until you reach the boss at the end if you lose you must start over you can exit and continue a campaign at any time sounds great oh we got a choice here drix's toolbox when you use your forgeborn's ability play up to two gizmo minions which are two twos when a creature replaces this give it plus two plus two your creatures come into play with attack and health equal to the current deck cycle if they have no creatures adjacent to them. At the end of the first deck cycle, create and play up to one Mirror Drone. You can use your Forgeborn's level 2 ability. Interesting. Let's go... Let's go with this one here, Call of the Lone Echo Wolf. Here's your reward, Call of the Lone Echo Wolf. Sounds good. We just got to make sure we're playing cards not adjacent to each other. And we can choose who to fight. Oros. Enemy modifiers. Oros' is creatures with decreased health get plus one at the end of each turn. Korok destroys one of your creatures with decreased health at the end of each deck cycle. Crux Cobalt destroys your creature with the lowest attack at the end of each... Oh, these are all... <laughs> these all sound horrible. Let's go with Oros here. Their creatures are going to get increased attack when they get hurt. All right, they're going first. They play, what is this? A Stegodon Alpha. Give another one of your creatures plus two, plus two. It has Slay. Is that when it destroys? Yes, when it destroys an enemy creature. So we want to be opposing. If this replaced a creature, no. A defender, interesting. What is defender? Is always in the back row. 
on deploy. If this is in your leftmost lane, give it plus three. If it is in the rightmost lane, give it plus three. Choose an enemy creature. If that creature has increased attack, this is free. And give it minus five. Give one of your creatures aggress aggressive this turn. This creature is always played in the front lane, even if you don't have the forge. And give your dinosaurs plus three, plus three. Oh, that seems great. All right, well, uh, I want to save the epic soldier or epoch soldier. Let's just go with this. Just to oppose. And what is the upgrade on this? 68814. Oh, you used your ability. Is that your ability? Or no, that was off of this card. What did you do? Choose up to one of your creature, other opposed creatures. It battles its opposing creature. Oh, this is an 8-8? Eight, eight? Holy cow. At level 1? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I could sacrifice. I don't want to take 8 damage. Wait, what is activate? Activated abilities can be used once each turn. Play a wisp. Uh, activate abilities. Cards with glowing notches have abilities that can be activated. Activate abilities can be used once per turn at any time. Just tap the card when you want to activate it. Presumably not on your opponent's turn. Uh, there you go. Play a wisp minion. Play it, uh... Oh, do I want the... And this guy, where are you? Let's play it over here. There we go. That was kind of, uh, that was a little annoying. I couldn't see my Epoch Soldier because the Wisp was on top of it. Left lane is attack, right lane is health. All right, we are done. weaken you a bit there you get some extra attack so now this is actually oh this is not good oh because we, we redraw i forgot <laughs> not like some other games you redraw every turn more like a deck builder breakthrough while this creature is in the front row combat damage it deals in excess of the opposing creature's health is dealt to the opposing player very nice uh which we don't have any of that but we do have our how do I see the, the special that we had, right? We're gaining extra as long as we're not adjacent. Is that here? No. Doesn't kill them. Oh, here we go. Uh, plus X plus X equal to the current deck cycle. So we're on deck cycle one. So we're going to get plus one, plus one. And if it's unopposed, I gain some health. We don't need that right now. Give creatures adjacent to this three health. If we have another robot in play, it gets increased. Stealth, if this replaced a creature, give your creatures plus two, plus two. All right. Uh... I mean, we could put this across it. It'll live. But I think I want to take this guy out immediately. And we'll do a one extra damage. Unit creatures get four shield. That would save my creature, right? All right, interesting. I wonder, is this symbol down here? Is that breakthrough? It is. Oh, and you got a breakthrough card as well. I can't play, can I play double cards? I think this is gonna replace this card. I think we can only have one card in a row at a time. But if we do this, if this replaced a creature, give your creatures plus two, plus two. Does that include itself? It'll still get plus one, plus one. Let's try this. See what it does. 
If you play a creature into an occupied lane, it will replace and banish the previous creature. Yep, that's what it does. Alright, excellent. It applies to itself. And we get the extra plus one plus one. It doesn't save any of our creatures. But I'm just testing things out right here. And we're going to take five. Play Shard Cavern. What is this? Wait, what happened? Something happened. I didn't look at stealth, did I? This creature ignores creatures in the back row during battle. Okay. So did I hit my opponent with that? Where are we? Was banished. Plays combat war tusk. Wait, where's, where's the top of the log? Okay, yeah, it's at the bottom. What was this? Your creatures in this lane have breakthrough. Activate if you have a creature with 15 or more in this lane. Transform this. Transform into Surging Cavern. Your creatures in this lane have breakthrough. When one of your creatures in this lane deals damage to the enemy player, it deals an additional 3 damage. And that came from... That came from this guy. Alright, uh, what do we want to do here? We have a 1-1 one, one with one shield. This swaps lanes with another one of your creatures. We have a bunch of vanilla creatures right now. It's not great. What is this? Choose a one level enemy creature and they get a wisp instead. I gain some health. Can I tell? Okay, there we go. Level one. So I could botanimate this creature, presumably. If I give you four, they'll survive. Let's, let's get rid of you. Turn you into a 2-2. Two -two. This lane swaps lanes with another one of your creatures. Let's just... Oh, what did you put here? Stout Basher. A 5-7. Oh, this is all turning bad for us. Let's go here. 7-4. You'll trade. Oh, no, you won't. We have 6. Let us... Oh, wait. Oh, can I not use my ability? Or is there a timer? Oh, I didn't have the Forge Powers ready. Oh, it's not until the second cycle. All right. But now we have some level two. Play up to one Miss Minion. Give your minions plus two, plus two. I feel like I want to do this. Let's play you here. And... Oh, maybe I should have played it somewhere else. I wanted to replace with the assassin. We have another robot in play. Give this plus four, plus four. Give one of your creatures aggressive. This creature is always played in front. Leftmost or rightmost lane. Let's go. Um... Yeah, it's not the greatest, but we'll go here. I wanted to replace... Oh, I gotta go done. What am I doing? I forgot. We only get one, <laughs> we only get one action. 11, 12, and breakthrough. 
Um, do we have something to deal with that? Give your dinosaurs plus three plus three. Not really. This should work with itself. It'll go up to a 10. Which won't kill them. I think maybe we just... We just go here. We just go here. And we could use this to save our minion over here, our wisp. Choose up to one of your other opposing creatures. It battles. All right, I don't think we're doing well. Especially when they're when their creatures have breakthrough. All right, what do we have now? Choose an enemy creature. That creature has, if that creature has increased attack, this is free. It gives it minus five. How can I tell? Oh, it does have increased original stats. This one as well is increased. Give one of your creatures a six shield. If it is a warrior, it gets plus six attack. Interesting. Spirit and warrior. Give the next creature plus two plus two. Choose a... Oh, we're on level two of this. We can do a one or two. Oh, this is excellent. Yes, we want to replace... We want to replace this one. Get rid of this this guy. You get a two-two. Very nice. All right, who did you put? You put a four, six over here. We can play, let's just play this right here just to take that creature out. Yes, although they do have a move next. We should trade with everybody here and take two damage depending on what they do now. Oh no, was that our turn? Oh, that was our turn. Oh man, I'm still I'm still getting used to the sequence here. But we're doing better now. All right, we have a vanilla give creatures adjacent plus 3 health. Play a wisp minion at the end of each deck cycle, play up to one oak father minion and play two wisp minions. Let's do this. You have Defender, though. That's fine. You can't attack. And we can play a Wisp minion off of you. Yeah, we'll do that. Just place you... here. I guess it doesn't matter much. Although they do have the Shard Cavern there. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Never mind. Interesting here, return up to one creature to its printed attack and health. And let's just go two wisp minions. Just kind of clog up the board maybe. Play up to one Oak Father minion. Uh, what does this do? It just has breakthrough and it's an 8-8. Eight eight. That sounds great. Uh, we're going to oppose. Let's oppose here for extra damage. Oh my gosh, a 10-13. This giant, this giant dinosaur. What was that? 
So you have lowered... Interesting, you have lowered health. Choose an enemy creature. That creature has increased attack. This is free. You've got dinosaurs. If this is unopposed, you gain four. It is not. Give your dinosaurs plus three plus three. We don't have any dinosaurs out at the moment. Let's come over here. Let's put this one there. And, oh, did they just pass the turn without doing something? I didn't notice. Because they're all full. Oh, no, you played it. Oh, you played that? We can play a Wisp Minion. Plus three to Dinosaurs. This has Breakthrough. Uh, if we give this minus five, no. We can give this minus five, take less damage. I feel like we just need creatures. I feel like I should just be playing creatures. Oh, wait, we can do... We can do this. Return up to one creature... Gives you five, will take less damage through breakthrough. And who has. Turn you to a four seven. You're a okay. Oh, turn you to a two two? Or to a four six? No, return this one to a two two. That's excellent. You may use an ability. Oh, I can. Uh, can we give everybody shield? Does that help us? Or use this? Let's come over here. Select a target. We'll target you. And we can still use this, but that doesn't necessarily save us oh no it, it went to level three now oh yes use this um we want to take take this raptor it'll save our our creature we're gonna take a bunch of damage here i'm okay with that you may use an ability We're good. I'll take you out. We'll lose our wisp. All right, we're on the attack. We're fine here. What do we got? Uh, robots get three shield this turn. Are you guys robots over here? No, you're a warrior. I have no robots out. If one of your creatures six shield, if it's a warrior, it gets six attack as well. Interesting. Uh, I mean, we could play the assassin here and then buff it up. We can replace this, though. Give all our creatures plus four, plus four. Give the next creature you play plus four, plus four. Let's put you here. Let's try this. And I'm going to replace this with an assassin. Seven, eight. You have an ability. Or no, you have... What does this mean? Triggered effect. When another one of your creatures enters the back row, give it plus one, plus one. All right. We want to replace this. It gets plus four, plus four for all our creatures. Excellent. 
we're looking good. We may use an ability. This will give us a wisp, right? We don't want. We don't want to use that. Where'd my tooltip go? Uh, yeah. No, we don't want that. So we are all done. That's fine. Yep, you lose out there. We lose out there. You lose out there. Oh, it's looking good. Look at this. All right. Uh, choose an enemy creature. Replace it with a wisp, wisp minion. Oh, now it's a level three, so it doesn't have the requirement of being a certain level. We can just get rid of this. Give give them a wisp. Which do we want to do that? Adjacent creatures get plus three, plus three. We could... We could do this. Let's do this. Play a wisp right here. And then we can replace it. To give adjacent creatures plus three, plus three. And this one over here has breakthrough. And we can... We have another robot in play. It gets plus four, plus four. We want to use this... To actually... Turn this into a wisp, just so we get more breakthrough damage. Or actually, we don't get breakthrough damage, right? Because we're... We're not unopposed. Next turn. All right, they're giant. They're giant creatures dealt with. Oh, but we won. Victory. There we go. I kind of missed that we won there. But I'll take it. And now we get another upgrade. At the end of each turn, your creatures in the back row get plus three health. At the end of the first three deck cycles, use your Forgeborn's next level's ability. And your robots have plus two. I don't remember how many robots we have in total. Robots, these say mech. There's a third robot. Fourth robot, robot beast. Yeah, I don't know if I want that one. I kind of like this here. At the end of each turn. Eidolon's Mark. And then we have... Oh, how big is this map? Can I zoom out? I can't zoom out. We're coming over here to Reclusa, this giant spider. Every mother dotes on her children, wishes the best for them. For Reclusa, that means feeding your corpse to her hatchlings. Gotta hatch, gotta hatch them all. Reclusa plays a spider egg into one of her empty lanes at the end of each turn. Oh, man. We got a ways to go to get there. What do we got here? Unleash leash the Krogius. Cards named Krogius are free to play. That sounds awful. When you gain health, Spring Dryad gains 5 health. Whenever anyone plays a spell, they get a mindless zombie minion in a random empty lane. Are we gaining a lot of health with our creatures? It's when I gain health, right? Not my creature's health? At least I hope so. I don't quite see anything. Looking through this real quick, we have this one here. Gives us health. Is that the only one? Oh no, and then the botanimate here. So we get two cards that give us health. Yeah, it says specifically when you gain, not our creatures. We'll try this one. Spring Dryad. For one who walks with the forest, a softer breeze through the branches is life itself. Alright, we're going first. We have the forge. I wonder if that's randomly chosen. 
Defender, play a Wisp minion, give the next creature plus two, plus two. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And we're going to kind of go here so that we can get the non-adjacent creatures when they come into play for the lone Echo Wolf. What is this here? Defender. So if I play... Actually, I probably want to do this one. And then activate your ability. Play Wisp over here on the far left. It'll get plus one, plus one. Yeah, excellent. No more moves. You get a four, eight. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I read that wrong. Is it when they gain health? It refers to them. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. Play Nuada's Garden. The first time you gain health each turn, you may play a Wisp minion in this lane. Activate if you have no empty lanes. Transform this and it replaces your creature in this lane. Turns into a 10-10 Oak Guardian. With a breakthrough, when you gain health, you gain that amount of plus one health instead. All right, they're all about gaining health. We need to be on the offensive. Decreased attack on their enemy. Give creatures adjacent to this plus three health. Return up to one creature to its printed stats. Oh, we can change you. We can change you. Go here. Adjacent creatures get more health. And we're going to return you to a 0 8. I like that. And then let's just play a big old dinosaur. Oh, wait. We may use an ability. We don't have one. We technically have one here. But if I do that, I lose the plus one, plus one for playing my Decay Sore over here, so I'm not going to do that. I could just do it. I could play the Decay Sore and then use the ability on my second turn. Oh, you have this guy too? All right, Decay Sore over here. Oh, wait a minute. What did they just do? <laughs> I was I was thinking I was thinking about my next turn. Where did their creature go? Their soothing basher was banished from play. What? Why? Did they just play this and then replace it with a wisp? Uh play a soothing basher to lane two. Triggered ability. You gain two health. At 53, Glow Hive, when you gain health, you add attack, triggered this. The first time you gain health each turn, you may play a Wisp in this lane. And they decided to use that ability and replace their Soothing Basher? Okay. Sure. You can absolutely do that. I don't mind. We're going to place that over there. Get plus one, plus one and use this ability to just have more creatures out. There we go. Uh, I can use this to give something minus five. I mean, I might as well, right? It's going to get shuffled anyway. I'm not keeping it. And it'll just, it'll just get upgraded after. Oh. 
Oh, look at that. Just gain the health back. And they all move up. To go on the offensive. Give your dinosaurs plus three. Oh man, I gotta remind myself. What is aggressive again? This creature is always played in the front of a lane. So does that move them to the front? It says give one of your creatures, but it says it's always played in the front lane. Or does that just apply to the next time they come around when they get leveled up? Ep Epoch Hawk. This swaps lanes with another of your creatures. Give your robots plus three. If you have another robot in play, which we, we don't, right? Spirit Warrior. Okay, I don't feel like I have any decent moves right now. I mean, I can go like, I can replace this. And then maybe play this to give them all plus three, plus three, but wait until my second turn here. Oh no, it does. When I gain health, they gain health. All right, and definitely as I get more accustomed to this game, I'm gonna increase the speed of all those animations there of all the effects triggering. We do not want to use an ability right now. I'm gonna call it done. You oppose there, it is my turn. We are gonna play Might of the Herd. So does this swap this? Does that move you front words? Does that, that doesn't cancel your aggressive and defender. Interesting, so I added aggressive here but not to any of its upgrades. I wonder how this works. Maybe it's because they cancel each other out. Uh, we want to use an ability. We do not have our ability ready. We're just gonna call the turn. Heart tree. Give one of your creatures plus three. That is a-okay, it'll survive. Cleared the left lane, cleared the second lane, cleared the fourth lane. All right, Forge Powers are ready. We're at level one, right? Yes. You and your creatures get four shield. They're doing a bunch of stuff. They put a wisp there. This is now an 8-1, which is not concerning for us. We can give, we can give our dinosaurs more plus three plus three. Just make them more awful. We can also do this. If you have another robot in play, give this plus four plus four. And it gets two. We can do that. Perhaps we can go here. Let's replace this. And we'll make this one big. Uh, yes, we're gonna call that done. And we're gonna put this over here. And they'll all gain health at the end of the turn. Uh, let's just do this. Oh no, that that's not an ability. What am I talking about? Let's do this. Sure. And I don't want to use the Wisp ability. Excellent. Now we've cleared their board. We have board control. And we have the forge, uh, but we're all filled up. If this replaces a creature, do I want to replace a creature? Plus three, plus three. All creatures get plus two, plus two. I kind of like that. 
that'll make this a 6-4 that doesn't really do much better, I feel, than what we have. I feel like we just passed this. There's nothing I want to do. I know, but I like who I have on my board. If you have more than 50 health, something happens. Give it plus three, plus three. Nope, that's not going to happen with you. However, I do want to replace you with a wisp. Oh, but I'll gain health and they'll gain health. That'll be fine. I'll save my creature. And I'll do extra damage. Okay, heart tree. That does nothing. They can play a wisp over here. Alright, we are done. Battle phase. We're looking great. All right. Okay. There's their. Are they gonna replace? Are they gonna replace this again? Oh, please replace it again. You can play Wisp in that lane. You know. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. That is excellent. I mean, that probably shouldn't happen. The AI should probably be a bit smarter than that. Not replacing a lower uh, attack and health card on top of a, a higher one. 210. Give the next creature you play plus 4, plus 4. Put an 8-2 somewhere. Give one of your creatures 6. If it's a warrior, it gets plus 6. Do we have... What are you? Are you... Please be a robot warrior? No. You are a warrior, though. However, having attack doesn't help all that much. But in the interest of actually doing something... Nah, I don't want that either. I really don't want to do anything again. I mean, I could replace... I don't want to replace that because it has breakthrough. Yeah, I think we just pass. Yep. You gain health this turn. It gets plus two, plus two. Uh, does the force field help put you at seven? It does. And there we go. Move 10 over here. Put them to 19. Alright, uh, what do we got going? Swaps lanes. Leftmost lane, rightmost lane. Again, nothing. Nothing I really want to do. I mean, I could just like swap this guy out with somebody who attacks. But I don't necessarily like any of the creatures I have. We're just going to confirm this. You can play a wasp. Or not a wasp, a wisp. Sounds good. Oh, they gained something. What was that? Uh, Wisp, Primal Surge. If you gained health this turn, this is free. Give one of your creatures plus five this turn, and it gets five shield. Ooh, okay. I don't like that. I don't have any spells to deal with that. They have seven, and I don't have any cards that I could replace. No, we're just gonna, we're gonna lose our creature here. We're on the attack, though. How much are we doing? We're doing 10, 17, an extra 6 through breakthrough. So we're doing 23. Do we have a breakthrough character? We don't. 
because I could do this, but they're just going to oppose it to save themselves. Let's do that. I can use an ability. Oh, that's right. Yes, use this. Um, put that on you. Oh, no, you, you'd oppose that one. That's probably smarter. But we will do 17 damage. Oh, they're gaining so much health. They're now at 30. So we bring them down to 13, right? If I did the math right. Yep. Oh, look at that. Give somebody else plus four, plus four. That is awful. We need... Give one of your creatures 10 shield. Oh. I wonder if the 10 shield adds to the two or if it just replaces the two with 10. I'm hoping it goes up to 12. I definitely want to use that. If this replaced a creature, give it plus three, plus three. If we have another robot in turn. I kind of want to do this. We're facing a 610 with breakthrough. Let's do this. And the next turn, we'll probably use the force field on our Decayosaur. Uh, I can use an ability. Oh, what is your ability? Oh, your ability is to swap lanes, isn't it? Which actually, that's not a bad idea. But I'm not going to do it right now. I want to see what they do first, because we have the last, the last turn before we go into battle. Okay. Um, let us play the force field over here. To save the decay sore, it does add, it is additive. That is nice. And let's use this ability to swap out like that. And we'll do four to them down to nine. We'll move up into attack mode. Robots get plus five this turn. Oh, we're like in a robot mode, aren't we? Uh, anything else we got? Aggressive dinosaurs get plus five, plus five. Replace with a wisp. Okay, now let's do this. We're gonna plop it down here. Excellent. No more moves. That is awful. But we're on the attack. We can take them down. We can't survive. I don't want to use it. I mean, I could use this. It's going to give them health. Oh, no. Now it's a 1916. Yeah, we're, we're replacing this. It's a, oh no, it's a level three. Oh, we don't have this leveled up. We can't target it. We need to have this leveled up. So we need to replace something. Can we replace this? This is a level three as well. It's got the gold border. We're gonna give them health. It seems bad. Is there any way, there's no way I can buff because we got nine damage here. Bring them down to five. All right, I, I need this to be a level three spell, so I'm gonna use it. It's gonna give them some health. They'll go up to 19, which is not great, but it's set up for hopefully the future. I mean, there's no way I'm saving the Decayosaur. I can give an extra five, but that's not enough to survive 19. Oh, and they gain set. Well, what is... Oh, man. 
They're getting so much health. They're getting so much health. Oh, what is that? I don't like that. Oh, it's the Oak Guardian. It's here. It has arrived. We might actually lose this. Oh, we might definitely use lose this. Uh, we have our ability. Destroy your heart tree. Give one of your creatures plus six. This is the robot synergy that we've been sort of doing. We have no dinosaurs left. Oh, this break... 27? We're just going to lose. We need... We need to draw that card. 31? Um... Oh, man. Let's go here. That'll trade, at least for the moment. Unless they do something about it. What is our ability here? One of your creatures plus 12 and plus 12 shield. Maybe I should have put this here. It would have made it 24. Oh, I should have put this here, shouldn't I? Over op opposing this. Because they're at 24 effective health. And I could have given plus 12 here. We'd have 24. Oh, okay. Well, I messed that up. But we do need, you know what? We need to just uh, block some of the damage there. And let's just... Uh, we have no breakthrough creatures. Should I use this right now to save my robot? I can make this a 1422, which doesn't save it at all. Saves us some damage. Let's save our robot, maybe. I think I'm going to lose this anyway. Okay, but we are on the tack next, but they've come back up to 36. We are at health parity. Oh, no. And we can't let this go unopposed. Give the creature a minus 10. That helps. Give creatures adjacent plus 4. Um... Man, we're going to lose whoever we have over here anyway. So we're just going to put you over here. We did not draw great. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, we did draw great. Oh, I didn't even look at the second deploy. Boom. Boom. That did not help. Because <laughs> it's a level 3. It helped a little. Uh, no more moves. Done. Oh, what is this? Breakthrough cannot be affected by enemy spells or abilities. We're dead. We're dead. Uh, Decayosaur over here. Maybe I should have played the Electronet. Oh, gosh. And now they're on the attack? With a 30 breakthrough, we're at 27? I think we I think we just lose... 19? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, but we, it can't be affected by enemy spells. We can get rid of this one. But there's, there's literally nothing we can do. We can just tank a bunch of the damage. Yep. 612. Hello. 618. Uh, <laughs> play a card. Uh, 13... I kind of want to... Oh, no. We're, we're the last turn. 
So I'm going to place this here. And say done. And take, what, 22, 24? Down to five. Oh wait, we defeated. Oh, because it's the end of the, uh, it's the end of the cycles. All the cycles are done. Lost round. Uh, we did gain some experience though. So let's see, how does that work? Congratulations, your deck has reached level two. Oh, interesting. Epoch Soldier Health Core. Your Epoch Soldiers have plus two health, plus two attack. Your Shield Bearing Wardens have plus two health. I kind of liked these guys. The Soldiers were okay. Let's do this one. Encounters completed one. Uh, we got one done with our Iron Beard. And we gained some experience. Campaign stats, level 2. And can we swap back and forth? Oh, so we can switch between the starters if we want. That's very nice. I like that. Yeah, but we're at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this video. This has been Soulforge Fusion. It is set to release uh, today, April 16th. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.